Welcome now to the music therapy workshop of Sambhav 2022. As we all know, music has great physical and psychological benefits. It reduces stress, helps with anxiety, improves depression, improves cognitive functions, and promotes emotional wellness. Today, Ms. Haley Kitchener, founder, director, and manager of Music Studio 60 Australia, will conduct music therapy session for all the participants of Sambhav, where she will be teaching about basic block building of braille music, such as scale and octave signs. She herself is a visually impaired music composer and singer, presenting our music therapy workshop. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Music Studio 60. My name is Hayley, the founder and director and manager of Music Studio 60. And this afternoon, I'm going to take you on a little bit of an educational journey through Braille music. And we're going to be talking about part two in our series of the basic building blocks of Braille music. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about scales and octave signs. Now, to understand a scale, we need to understand a little bit of the mechanics of music. In other words, how does music actually work? Now, let me play for you a C major scale. So I'm going to start on the note C. This is going to be a C major scale. So this is what a C major scale sounds like. I'll play that again. So that is a C major scale, okay? So what are these notes? Okay, so we're starting on C. So we're starting on what we call on the keyboard. Now, I know you probably can't see the keyboard, but we're going to start on what we call middle C. Now, I'm using my thumb to play this. Now, scales are made up of tones and semitones or whole steps and half steps. So what's the difference between a tone and a semitone? Okay, so tone sounds like this. I'll play that again. But a tem semitone sounds like this. So it's a little bit kind of more... I kind of imagine um, sharks, you know, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, so that sort of feel, whereas a tone kind of has a brighter la la sort of feel. So that's kind of the difference. We call these semitones and we call this one a tone or a whole step and a half step. Okay, so in a C major scale, we have a combination of tones and semitones. So I'm just going to briefly describe this to you before we start learning how to write a scale. So we're starting on C. Now the next note is called D. Now between C and D we have a tone. Okay. The next note from D is E. We have a tone between D and E. Now between E and F is a semitone. Then from F to G is a tone, G to A is a tone, A to B is a tone, and then B to C is a semitone or a half step. So that's what makes up the C major scale. And we can apply that to all of the other major scales as well, whether it's C or D or E or F or G or A, etc. So we can apply that to all the different scales. Now, when we come to writing Braille music, we write a scale in a particular way. Now, one of the things I was going to talk to you about is octave signs, and we're going to get to that in a second. But I just want to recap a little bit on last time so that we can remember. So last time we actually talked about uh, the different rhythmic values. So we had quavers, we had crotchets, and we had minims. And I took you on the note C, so this note here. So we just looked at one note. Well, today we're going to look at all of the notes that create the C major scale. So let's look at quavers. Now, if we remember that C quaver has dots 1, 4, and 5. So I've just brailed a C quaver, okay? Now, if we want to go up the scale, we need our other notes. So 
a dequaver is simply dots one and dots five. So that's a dequaver. Now an equaver is dots one, two and four. F quaver dots one, two, four and five. A G quaver dots one, two and five. A quaver is dots two and four. And a B quaver dots two, four and five. And of course, back to the C quaver, which is dots one, four and five. So that is a C major scale, all in quavers. Now, the question that I have to ask is how do we know whereabouts on the keyboard to play that scale? Now, normally in music, we have lines and spaces so that we can determine whereabouts in the music we're meant to be playing. But in Braille, we do something a little bit different. We don't have lines and spaces because it'd be kind of a little bit difficult to actually write, you know, draw um, tactile lines and spaces. I guess you could try and do that, but it would certainly take up a lot of space. So we have what's called octave signs, okay? Now, middle C, which is what I'm pressing now, is considered fourth octave, okay? So when you look at sort of a piano, Okay, it's kind of the fourth octave in the piano, in the start of, of the piano. So the best way to understand it is if you get a piano or a keyboard and find middle C, and middle C is considered fourth octave. So in Braille, in order to determine that, we need to put a little sign before we actually put the note. And to make fourth octave, we use a dot five to start with. And then I'm going to put the note C. Okay, which is dot one four five. So that was the C quaver. So that's what we normally do. Now we have fifth octave as well. So if we wanted to start up here in fifth octave up there, we would do this sign. So that's dots four and six. Okay, so that becomes a fifth octave. We're only going to do fourth and fifth octaves today. There are other signs for all the other octaves as well. And of course, if you want to find out more about that, then feel free to get in touch with me. So, we're going to start on the note C, okay? So, to write the C quaver, a C scale, with the octave sign, we've got to put the fourth octave sign first, which is dot five, and then I'm going to write the C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So, I have just written a scale, and that's how we sort of, that is the very basics on how we do that. Now, I remember last time we looked at crotchets and minims as well. So let's go through. So I'm going to start on middle C. So I'm going to put a fourth octave sign, which is a dot five. Okay. And instead of a C quaver, I'm going to do crotchets this time. So remember from our last video, and if you need to go back, visit the Music Studio 60 YouTube channel because the video is on that channel and you'll be able to see for yourself. We're going to do the C crotchet. So in a crotchet, we always add the dot six. Yeah, so it's going to be dot one four five six is going to be a C crotchet. Now, well, last time we did just D, so we uh, did just C, so we need to do D all the rest of the notes as well. So we're going to do dots one and five for D, but we add six, and then we've got one, two, and four for E, and we just add a dot six because we're making it a crotchet. Then we had one, two, four, five for F, but remember we're doing crotchets, so we add a dot six. And then we have G, one, two, and five, but we've got to add a dot six because we want a G crotchet. And then we've got A, which is dots two, four, but we want to add a dot six. And then we've got a B, so we want two, four, five, and we want to add a dot six. And then, of course, we go back to the C crotchet to complete the scale. So that's kind of what we do. So today we have looked at the C major scale and we've looked at the composition or how a major scale is created. So remember we've got tones and semitones in a scale. Tone, tone, semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. Yep. So between B and C and E and F is where you'll find your semitones. 
And that applies to any major scale. So you can do that starting on D, starting on E, starting on F, G, E flat, etc. Yeah, but we'll go into that when we get into more advanced theory lessons. Okay, and then we did the quavers and the crotchets writing a C major scale because C major is the easier scale. Now C has no sharps and flats. Okay, and in our next video, we're going to be looking at keeping in time and keeping on key. And what do I mean by that, keeping in time and keeping on key? Well, we've got time signatures and key signatures. And we're going to learn a bit more about that and how we do that in Braille Music in our final episode on about Braille Music. So that is basically it in a nutshell. You've got the C major scale. You've got the workings of how a scale works and also in quavers and crotchets, how to actually write with the combination of dots. Oh, and also not forgetting that we have the dot five if we want to start on middle C or if you want to start up there, you're going to use dots four and six. And of course, there are other signs as well that we use for the lower notes right down there. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Hayley from Music Studio 60 and I look forward to seeing you next time.